Hello, I'm Ellen from Seacoast, New Hampshire Permaculture, and today I'm going to show you how to make seed balls. Native Americans wrap their corn seeds in balls of clay and soil in order to protect them and give them a good start. Today we use seed balls uh, to sow wildflower seeds in unused land in towns and communities for beauty and to provide food and habitat for pollinating insects such as bees and butterflies. To make bombs, you only need four things. Seeds, compost, clay, and water. Let's start with seeds. If you plan to sow your seed balls around the community, it's important to use native seeds or seeds from plants that already grow around your area. Also, make sure that all the seeds have the same light requirements and sprouting times. You don't want to mix shade seed with full sun seeds or seeds that like cool, early cool spring weather with seeds that like hot summer heat. Choose seeds that like the same thing. Next, for soil, you should use compost or potting soil that you get from your garden center. If you use soil from your compost pile in your own yard or, yard from, or soil from your yard, the soil may already have weed seeds in it that grow faster than the seeds you're trying to grow and eat up all the nutrients and make it harder for them to grow. Now you need clay. You can use potter's clay from the craft store, or you may be able to dig clay from the soil in your area like I did. An inexpensive source is kitty litter, and if you can find some that is just clay with nothing added to it. Once you have the materials, it's easy to make your seed balls. Mix your seeds with the compost. And then add your clay. And your water. Add the water gradually because you don't want it to get too soupy. And then you're going to mix these together. This can take some time, so I have some that's already, that's already mixed here. Once the clay is at this consistency, you can see that it will hold a ball, and you can roll your seed balls into balls about the size of a quarter. Once they're dry, you'll have, they'll have a hard crust that protects the seeds from birds and other animals. The balls are also heavy so that the seeds will not blow or wash away. You can store the balls in paper bags until you're ready to use them. I hope you have fun making your seed balls, and I look forward to seeing lots of flowers blooming in unexpected places.